Uh, joining us now are three guests to analyze these numbers further. Kunal Shah of ICICI Securities is with us. So is Ashutosh Mishra of Ashika Stockbroking. And of course, Prakash Divan, market expert, joins us as well. Uh, Kunal, let me begin with you. A stellar set of numbers, uh, your big takeaways. Yeah, so uh, a great set of earnings. It has uh, surpassed uh, uh, R as well as consensus uh, estimates uh, usually. And it was beat across all the operating parameters. So margin expansion of 30 odd basis points quarter on quarter. Uh, that that was uh, definitely uh, ahead of the expectations. And uh, this was further supported by uh, more than uh, 20 odd percent uh, uh, advance growth. And the credit cost also came in much lower. In fact, uh, uh, it was less than uh, uh, 50 odd basis points. And specific uh, loan loss provisioning was also merely 28 odd basis points because slippages were uh, just uh, 33 basis points uh, during the quarter. So uh, very strong uh, uh, asset quality. Uh, credit cost also much lower. Uh, advanced growth was uh, uh, better and uh, further supported by margins and no drag on the uh, treasury uh, uh, tre uh, on, on the treasury side uh, that led to significant earnings beat well prakash who said uh, the elephant cannot dance your uh, takeaways and what's that for you so <clears throat> i think Ritu, uh, you know we've we've had uh, enough time to look at the detailed presentation deck that uh, the bank has shared post its numbers and that's why probably this discussion could tend to get a bit too number intensive. But, uh, you know, my key takeaway is that this is just the beginning of a trend that a lot of us have been discussing, anticipating, talking about in terms of the larger, well-run banks uh, kind of making the grade in a, in a way where all metrics will probably beat expectation. In fact, you know, when you look at what the numbers have come up uh, as compared to the poll, uh, you you'll stop believing polls, right? So so that's that's the whole thing that when an SBI, a large balance sheet like SBIs can be uh, so agile to, to grow at this pace, it's phenomenal. And and it, it, remember every quarter on quarter, as the provisioning keeps coming down, uh, the net accretion of new NPAs is so low from 6,500 close to 2,400 close. I mean, that's a dramatic change. So the, 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 the environment has changed completely. And look at, look at the internals, their credit, profile of the of the borrowers that they have catered to the majority is now AAA. so what you're actually doing is you're setting the base for great visibility lower NPAs uh, in, in years to come as well right there's there's a healthy cross-selling improvement of 33 percent there is great 10 plus percent plus on the fee based income you know so these are these are things which are remarkable we don't normally look at those uh, so keenly but here everything is is kind of uh, working towards uh, you know that that orchestrated harmonized growth uh, that is there. So my first takeaway is um, it's it's time to look at banks really seriously. And and and, and this is just not just SBI, but even the BOB numbers that probably got overshadowed. Uh, uh, you know, it's, BOB is a smaller cousin of the PSU pack, but it, that also can very clearly is telling you that SBI, BOB, all of them are, are now, as Abhishek pointed out, getting into a ROA which is you know which is phenomenally different as an offer. One plus percent is is unheard of on a book like this. And if this sustains for three four quarters, you'll probably see a very different uh, complexion of the entire business. So uh, remarkable stuff. Thirty five thousand crores is no mean feat. Uh, profits of 16,000 crores plus, you know, all, all of these metrics tell you the kind of scale that is, is available uh, and at such such decent uh, price to book multiples. Uh, well, uh, you know, Prakash, taking a cue from where what you said, you know, the return ratios profile. Uh, my next question is to uh, Kunal Shah of ICICI Securities. Uh, Kunal, for uh, PSU banks, you know, we are seeing a massive improvement in the return ratios, especially given the fact that now they are the larger ones uh, you know obviously are crossing the one percent uh, level in terms of ROA the ROA profile is also improving above 12 to 15 percent how do you see the valuation uh, changing the game for uh, you know PSU banks so uh, both uh, SBI as well as uh, Bank of Baroda we had seen this quarter uh, they have uh, moved above a one percent uh, ROA mark and uh, this was well supported by credit cost as I was mentioning, say for SBI, it is less than 50 odd basis points. Bob also continues to be less than 80 odd basis points. And margin improvement uh, uh, trajectory continued for both of them. And uh, that that is really uh, leading to this kind of uh, ROAs. 
maybe given the scenario wherein we are in terms of the uh, asset quality uh, definitely it's uh, uh, behind us and we should see uh, credit cost uh, to be uh, modest uh, all through or uh, uh, say this fiscal and margin improvement given the eblr uh, repricing uh, that uh, that is going to play out uh, uh, through the fiscal and uh, deposit cost for uh, uh, sbi has not inched up a lot so we can see the sustenance of uh, uh, this kind of a uh, margins and once we see that they are able to sustain 1% plus roa mark in fact uh, that will definitely lead to the uh, valuation uh, uh, regrating as well uh, well, taking a cue from what uh, Kunal has mentioned, the net interest margin improvement trajectory, Ashutosh, uh, uh, my next question is to you. We are seeing robust loan growth, not only for the uh, banks as well, even in the industry level, uh, the loan growth as of October 28, uh, which is as per RBI data, continues to remain strong at and around 18% plus, and which is translating obviously into the results of uh, PSU banks as well. Like for the first time, you know, I'm seeing uh, SBI getting market share on on a sequential basis uh, what is your own assessment on how long you know can the loan growth actually improve from here and aid the net interest margin for the PSU banks so if you look at this point of time uh, we expect this trend to continue the reason for this is that the the, the key strength of the PSU bank is deposit franchise and at this point of time if you look at the deposit growth is far lower than the uh, credit growth we are seeing this trend after a long time and in in this uh, uh, if you look uh, extend extension of this where we clearly see that the PSU bank has a strength on deposits and deposit growth is lagging so definitely whatever the, uh, opportunity is there in the market they will come to them all uh, there and that's way we will clearly see that the credit growth will remain very strong led by the strong deposit growth franchise of these banks all right uh, you know kunal let me come back to you uh, you know it is uh, you know far better than what the street was expecting whether it is top line bottom line especially the asset quality uh, do you see this kind of a trend sustaining? We've seen only 2,400 crores of, uh, you know, a gross addition to NPS from SBI. That's quite a good number compared to what the street was expecting. Yeah, so uh, one thing we need to keep in mind is this would be post the inter-quarter adjustments. And last quarter also they highlighted that out of 9,700 crores of slippages, in fact, uh, uh, say by uh, July itself uh, and mid-August itself, they were able to recover 2,800 crores uh, uh, from that pool. And uh, this would be net of the recoveries from the slippages which were there in Q1. But uh, definitely maybe 33-odd basis points still surprised positively. Uh, everyone was expecting that the trend in slippages uh, going to be low on a quarter on quarter basis but not to this extent uh, in terms of the uh, sustainability when we look at it uh, across the segments uh, in fact uh, retail uh, agri sme corporate all the pools have uh, uh, shown an improvement in this uh, uh, quarter uh, maybe in terms of the slippages, it might not uh, uh, continue to be so low on the gross basis. In fact, we could see some kind of an inch up for the full year. Our estimates are also slightly on a higher side. But let us uh, uh, hear the uh, management during the uh, analyst call in terms of uh, uh, what their view is in terms of the outlook. Well, we certainly asked the management on that. And in fact, you know what? The, the recovery in upgrades are almost twice that of slippages in this quarter. And slippage ratio is just 0.33%. And the credit cost is just 0.28%. Uh, like you're saying, it is an exceptional quarter. Perhaps we'll see some correction going forward. Uh, but Prakash, since we're going to be speaking to the management, uh, what would you want to know uh, beyond what we can see in these numbers? No, so, uh, Ritu, you know, the, the, the presentation is fairly uh, well articulated and, and details out all uh, aspects of the bank's growth. Uh, what's important is, uh, you know, there's a small footnote on the fact that YONO is now responsible for new client addition on the retail side, almost, if I remember correctly, some 64% or something. Now, if that is already a property that's matured to a scale, uh, what's going to be interesting is how soon can the management decide, the bank decide to monetize that? Because that's a huge optionality that's built in. Uh, we've not been able to accord a great value to it as yet. Uh, but we do compute some sort of incremental uh, uh, addition to you know the bottom line if some monetization happens on that. They've, they've announced that the mutual fund hiving off is not on the cards, but there could be something else. So, you know, those are things which will kind of add as triggers to, to the re-rating of the stock that is definitely likely to 
uh, get underway with these numbers. So, in addition to you know the detailing on the numbers, and of course, more importantly, as Kunal also highlighted, the outlook going forward. Because remember, we are in a high interest rate or a, or a, or a rising interest rate regime. Usually, you tend to pick and choose the best borrowers in this kind of an environment because the weaker borrowers cannot sustain high costs. Uh, so, you know, the, the key is how how are they managing to make sure that the credit growth does not uh, inhibit any sort of a quality deterioration or slippages uh, going forward. But, you know, because on a book growing as rapidly as this, you are bound to, uh, uh, you know, be careful about that. You have to be careful about that. So that's that's the element of, uh, you know, uh, the credit control and the kind of uh, risk uh, this thing, uh, system that they are building. But otherwise, I think it's... it's, it's uh, a stellar performance. Uh, there's no taking. You just have to launch the management, hear them out uh, on how that's been achieved and how it could be continued in the future. Uh, well, Prakash, you spoke about uh, you know uh, market perception. Let me just w put one question on the valuations for PSU banks and across categories. Let's break it up into small, uh, small, uh, mid, and large uh, PSU banks. How do you see the valuation change? Uh, you know, uh, coming on to re-rating uh, that you expect on the PSU banks. <laughs> Is that for me? Uh, yes, Prakash, it's for you. Okay. So, so, so you know, I was explaining it the other day uh, about how the PSU uh, bank uh, sector as a whole is, is kind of getting re-evaluated. Uh, so, you had this classroom with seven, eight rows where, you know, you had the front benches like SBI, BOB, Canada Bank in that order. And you had a lot of those bank benches, the UCO Bank, Punjab Sin Bank, PNB and, and Indian banks, right? Now, suddenly this classroom has got reoriented and you just have two rows left. So, one is the front row and the, the other one is the second row or whatever what would you want to call it. It's not nice to call it the last row, but it's the second row. So, all the turnaround cases are in that second row, whereas the boys were turned around uh, and, and already growing at a very rapid industry-leading growth like SBI, BOB, CAN Bank. They, they uh, are going to offer great value. So what's going to happen is that valuation metrics will change in favor of these first, and then and then the backbenchers will probably participate. I, I would believe the price to book multiple will undergo a rapid change, uh, at least at least about a thirty percent increase over the next uh, three four quarters for most of these. Okay, uh, uh, Prakash, uh, sorry to cut you off, and thank you for your thoughts, Ashutosh and Kunal as well. The State Bank of India management is now addressing the media on their second thank quarter you very numbers. Much for Listen in the press conference for the announcement of the quarter two.